Hello, my name is Martin Royval, and I'm here today to let everyone know about an issue that is important to me and to the residents of the community where I grew up. The Santa Barbara Martinez Town neighborhood is located in the center of Albuquerque, New Mexico. It was founded in the 1850s as a small farming village and it is also home to four properties which are on the National Register of Historic Places. The San Ignacio Church, the Second United Presbyterian Church, the St. Joseph Hospital, and the Santa Barbara School, which were all built between 1908 and 1930. This neighborhood has been subject to several top-down sector development plans over the years. As you can see in the past, it hasn't went well for the city or the residents that live in the area. This has led to the decline of the neighborhood and to the loss of government money that was supposed to be used to redevelop this community. In 2018, the residents had filed a lawsuit against the city alleging discriminatory zoning regulations. In the past, scenarios like this have led to the gentrification of certain areas. For example, places like Portland, Oregon and San Francisco, California. Locally, there are places like Knob Hill and the Sawmill District that have been redeveloped without much care about what happens to the older low income residents. The residents of this neighborhood need to be aware. If they are not careful and the decisions that they make in the near future, gentrification can become an issue. New development can cause property taxes and home prices to rise making it unaffordable to those living on a fixed income. Two recommendations that I have to help this community stop gentrification are, number one, more community organization. This can be the key to help stop the threat of gentrification. If the residents are able to come together and let the city know what they want to happen in this neighborhood, it can definitely make a difference. Number two, building a community center. This can also be a solution. By expanding and protecting public areas, we can help connect neighbors to one another and help promote more community organization. The city planners and community members can come to some type of agreement on how to redevelop this area without creating gentrification. We can help to keep the culture and identity of this historic place from being forgotten and ensure that future generations can enjoy it for years to come like many others have in the past. Thank you for your time and I hope you all enjoyed my presentation.